I want to wish everyone a wonderful Erev Shabbos. In the Rashi class that we had this week at Shul, we discussed the Rashi that talks about uh, Ephron and how it says that uh, Ephron uh, is Yoshev Vesoch uh, B'nei Ches, that he was sitting among the children of, of Ches. And Rashi shows us, tells us, that actually when it says he was sitting, he was sitting like as a leader. They had appointed him a leader because of the importance of Avraham that week. But I think it's still important to note that even as a leader, and generally we don't think of Ephron as someone who we learn a lot from, but as a, as a leader, he's Yoshev Besoch B'nei Ches. He's still sitting among the B'nei Ches. He's among the people, even as a leader, he sees himself among the people. It makes me think very much of the Isha Shunamis, the Shunamite woman who, when offered by Elisha to do something special for her, talk to the leader, do something uh, out of the ordinary, she says, that I sit among my people. I, mean, I'm, I'm, I don't need anything special. I'm, I'm, I'm among everyone else. And, um, you know, certainly this week we think about being among the entire uh, Jewish people and the Jewish nation and the Jews in America in terms of what happened uh, in Pittsburgh. And uh, I think it's important for us to recognize also in Pittsburgh that we're among, we're among the citizens of the United States of America and we enjoy the protections of the citizens of the United States of America and we have to have Hakar Satov to have appreciation for the police officers who rushed into the synagogue and several of whom were, were shot. And we have to have that, that appreciation for, for what they did and recognize sort of that we are among the uh, lucky to be among the citizens of the United States. You know, this coming week, we have a chance to vote. Rav Moshe Feinstein wrote a famous letter in 1984 saying that everyone should vote. And you'd think he'd say everyone should vote because we want to be able to, you know, have our interests. Or, that's not what he says. He says that we are blessed to come to this country where we have religious freedom and in order to show Hakar Satov, in order to express our appreciation to the United States of America for everything this does, we have to participate fully. So the voting is really an act of Hakar Satov recognizing we are part of, we've been given this ability to be part of this great nation, we have to participate in it fully and certainly by taking advantage of the opportunity to vote. So I will certainly want to encourage everyone to go out and vote uh, on Tuesday. I'm not going to tell you how to vote. I'm not going to tell you how I'm going to vote. But I, I think it's crucial for us to, to go out and vote and for us to think of ourselves as being among, uh, among the people, among the people of our own nation in this very, very difficult week for the Jewish people and among uh, our nation, the United States of America, of whom we're very proud and lucky uh, to be citizens of. I want to wish everyone a, a wonderful Shabbos.